My shots are perfect today. My shots are perfect today. Bow before the king. At last! Antandra! Citrana? What are you doing here? Antandra! Are these your friends? That's right. This is an acquaintance of mine. Acquaintance? Is that what I am to you? I've spent half my life trying to find you. And you call me an acquaintance? She's a little scary, Antandra. I am not scary. Sorry, Citrana. The last time we met, you said you didn't want to be friends, so I thought... She just didn't understand my meaning. Enough. I guess it was wishful thinking on my part. She's leaving, Entendre. Should I go call her back? Leave it to me, Coco. Are you all friends of Citrana? I'm sorry you had to sit through that. Please allow me to formally introduce myself. My name is Entendre. And this is Coco. Judging from your appearance, you must be Sorin of the Uru clan. Tales of your feats at the Warsong Festival have spread far. Wow! Sorin is famous! That makes you even more qualified to be our Magister's friend. You talk too much. What I want to know is why there are so many bounty hunters in this camp. That's quite a long story. These young ones have lost their families. And so I've built this place as a haven for them. As for the bounty hunters, I've employed them to assist in protecting the young ones. Job well suited to them. Hey, stop it. 
Oh, it seems the little ones are acting up again. Excuse me while I deal with this. doing stop it right now i can't take it anymore look at this crazy place bounty hunters grubby little children oh, i'm leaving citrana wait and you entendra you have to leave with me what just calm down for a moment i am calm i traveled all this way just to get you out of the desert you want to take entendra away from us no, you can't! I saw the future. I saw everything. If she stays here, only death awaits her. Revealing the future is not something I take lightly. You're a liar! I wish I was. Unfortunately, my prophecies never lie. No! Don't leave us, Antandra! You can't go! It's all right, Coco. I'm not going anywhere. How could I possibly leave Citrana? Who would protect them? You're always protecting other people. As long as I've known you, you've never thought about yourself. Who's going to protect you when the time comes? Me. I'll protect her. Are you listening to what I'm saying? No one has ever been able to alter my prophecies, let alone some child. I don't believe you. You were just trying to take away Entendra! I hate you! to bully children. I just want to take Entendra away. That's all I'm trying to do. Citrana, these children need me. You should understand that. I needed you too, back then. You had no problem abandoning me. I guess they're just more important to you. Back then, I had no choice. I knew you could take care of yourself. You're kind, smart, and brave. See? You survived and thrived. Don't think I'll forgive you just because you flatter me. You're a disregard for your own safety. Why do you always have to be like this? I do care about my well-being, but I can't let the children come to any harm. Not only are there bandits running amok, but beasts from the Crimson Highlands have been going berserk. Crimson Highlands? Something is indeed very wrong. What do you know? So, the rumors say that the treasure in the Crimson Highlands is actually the source of the desert's unrest? There are still many doubts, but we're traveling to the Crimson Highlands to find the truth. This hamster is so cute and smart. What a lovely creature. In light of your compliments, I shall ignore you calling me a hamster instead of my name. Citrana, since you wish for me to leave, why don't I accompany you? To the Crimson Highlands. Wouldn't that be dangerous? I had no intention of traveling to the Crimson Highlands. My aim was to take you away from this dangerous place. Don't you want me to leave with you? If we can find the root of the desert's unrest and make this place safer for the little ones, I can go in peace. Magister, what are your thoughts? I don't know what to think. Thank you for having me along. I'll be anything but a burden. If you're leaving, I'm coming with you. Coco, your people need you. You must stay and protect them. You're lying. You're just afraid I'll get hurt out there. 
I'm going with you, Entendre. Coco, you have to behave. I can't let you come with me this time. I hate you. Entendre is mean. Good thing she left. We should get going, too. Sorry, everyone. Can you wait for a moment? This place is dangerous. Coco may do something crazy and get herself in trouble. I need to find her and make it clear that it's not my wish to abandon her. Have you found Coco? No. You didn't either, did you? No. Where could she be? When children throw tantrums, they sometimes just want to hide and be by themselves. And Tandra, since Coco is familiar with this area, we shouldn't be too worried, right? To be honest, she's probably perched somewhere watching us as we speak. We won't find her at this rate. A child's anger comes and goes like a desert storm. When she gets hungry, then she'll show herself. I took a quick look at her fortune. Prosperity and abundance are her future. She'll be fine. All right, maybe I'm overthinking this. I'm sorry I delayed us. I'll head back to camp and leave a message. Then we can depart. Listen now. If you see Coco, remember to tell her that I'll be gone for a while. But, but will we ever see you again? We will meet again. And I promise your life will be better then. Remember to mind your elders when I'm gone. They will protect you. Are the bounty hunters reliable? Perhaps others of their kind aren't considered so. But these ones are different. Honor binds them. They will hold true. A while back, I found them lost in a sandstorm and saved their lives. In return, they vowed to defend the young ones. Admirable. I'll remember to tell Coco. Please, be careful, Antandra. We don't want you to get hurt. I promise I'll be careful. We'll meet again before you know it. There's no one else around. Why is this all piled up here? It's all right. I'll just burn up these unruly plants. Wait. I want to take a closer look. Hmm. I was right. There are seeds of several rare plants mixed throughout. They can be used for divination. Wait a moment while I collect them to sift through later. You're taking all that with you? Can't you leave some behind? It does seem like a lot. Magister, are you good at organizing things? Can you help me? Thank you. Very much appreciated.
So that big mess along the way was your doing. Because I didn't want Entendre to leave. It's your fault for taking her away. I'm not taking away Entendre. This desert is in a dangerous state. Entendre's life is at risk. Don't you care about her safety? Do you really think you can protect Entendre yourself? I might not be able to protect her, but I want to try. I'm a big girl now. I can fight. No one believes me. No one listens to me. Coco, I'm touched by your words and your courage. Thank you. If you're this determined, I'm not going to stop you anymore. The desert recognizes those with true fighting spirit. Amaler's strength will never be denied. I'll admit she's tough. At least she had the strength to move that boulder. I assume the beast next to Coco did the heavy lifting. Still, being able to control such a wild beast at such a young age is impressive. Plus, Coco is familiar with the Crimson Highlands. She could make an excellent guide. Magister, do you think it's okay for Coco to join us? <sighs> I'm going to be blunt. I'm not good at babysitting. I won't be the one responsible for her. That settles it. The Magister approves. Welcome to the team, Coco. Yeah! I promise you that when you grow up, you'll be proud to have joined us. Because our Magister is the Merlin. Just remember one thing. She's the greatest mage in the world. King. you to leave! Outlanders are not welcome around here! Uh, I, I'm too injured to waste my breath on the likes of you! Now beat it! Would you believe me if I told you a monster did this to me? D just last night, a group of strange monsters wandered into our village. They nearly scared the hell out of me while I was on watch. Good thing I'm pretty quick on my feet, or else I'd be dead. If you ask me, this place isn't safe anymore. Alkali's probably our safest bet right now. With that many people in the town, we should be able to take care of each other. But the thought of sharing the town with outlanders is just... Ugh. Ugh.
We have to stop the bleeding. Come with me. I have some herbs back home. What a kind little girl. Thank you so much. Where did Mama put those herbs? Oh, I just need a second to find them. Where could they be? Oh, I can't find them. The house has gotten too messy to find anything since Mama's not here. This must be how you feel, Chippy. <laughs> if it weren't for Dolly, your room would be a total pigsty. Your room's no different. The floor's practically covered with potions and notebooks. Hey, it's not my fault. I was born a hamster. Don't worry, little girl. We'll help you look for them. Or rather, Magister Merlin, can you help? Dolly taught you how to organize and tidy up, right? Come on, Magister. This is easier than magic. again. Mama is going to be pleased when she gets back. Here, these herbs will help to stop the bleeding. Take them and help your friend. Thank you for your help. All she needs now is rest. Sachana should be back on her feet soon. My house is too small for everyone to stay, but maybe Reese has room for you. Reese? What an interesting name. Reese is incredible! He's the best beast tamer in the whole desert! The quicksand claws kept pestering him about his terror training techniques. But when he turned them down, they kidnapped him! Quicksand claws, terror birds... I'm suddenly reminded of someone. Do you know Reese? Oh, that's great! I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Probably more surprised than happy. Let's go find him, Magister. Get to the good part, Reese. Tell us how you defeated the quicksand claws. Well, as you all know, I'm a professional terror bird trainer. So while I was taking care of their terror birds, I was secretly raising my own terror bird army. Wow! A whole army of terror birds. That's right. And my beloved plume charger here was their fearless commander. Tell us more. What happened next? Well, on the night of the blood moon, I led my legion of feathered warriors straight into Ferenc's camp. Boom! Bang! I fired off six rounds, one after the other. After the shooting stopped, the only ones left standing were me and my terror bird army. Wow! That's amazing! He's lying. He's lying? Hello again, Reese. Your tall tales have only gotten taller lately, haven't they? Who's calling me a liar? I'm gonna... Oh, hey, what are you guys doing here? We didn't expect to run into the bird keeper of the quicksand claws here. Who are you calling a bird keeper? Show some respect! Terror birds are the pride of the desert! They're not just ordinary birds. Wait, that's not the point. You guys shouldn't be here. Get out of here! Who are these people, Reese? They're just a bunch of lucky prisoners who managed to escape from the quicksand claws. If it wasn't for me, they would have been vulture meat. More lies. But that's history. There's no point digging up the past. I'm not the one who brought up the past. You all look like heroes, too. Just like our Reese. We were just about to throw a big party in his honor. Why don't you join us? Stop looking so angry, Reese. They are 
guests. All right, a party sounds nice. I'll leave him alone. If they cry, it gets troublesome. I didn't agree to them joining my party. Why do they get to come? Reese! Reese! Listen to me! Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? What is it now? The little terror birds you saved all ran away! What? Didn't I tell you guys to keep an eye on them? I'll deal with you later, bare breath. I got bigger business to attend to. I saved the baby Terra birds from the quicksand claws. They lost their parents in battle. Poor feather brains. Unfortunately, they're not very used to their new surroundings yet, so they run off at every chance they get. They don't know I'm trying to save them. You really like Terra birds, don't you, Reese? <laughs> I get it. You like Terra birds. I like horn leaf bears. I like all animals, not just Terra birds. Animals are closer to nature than we will ever be. They know things we don't. My mount, Plume Charger, can sense danger from miles away. He's saved me more times than I can count. These terror birds are my friends. And by the way, thanks for helping you out. I really wasn't expecting it. Don't mention it. Some of your party are hurt, right? You're welcome to stay and rest for the night. We're planning a huge feast, so stick around and eat your fill. I'm only doing this because I hate owing people favors. If you guys come for the feast, that makes us even. I had no idea you could be that generous, Reese. Let's stick around for a bit, Magister Merlin. Satrana needs rest. Yes! A feast! I can't wait to eat! told me I passed out. Much better. Thanks for asking. The feast is about to begin! Come on! Let's go! You better not steal my meat, though. Like I would do something like that. By the way, what exactly is going on here? Don't you like feasts? Entendre and I love feasts! Let me play you a song on my flute, Entendra. It's a good one. My parents taught it to me before they passed away. Oh. You lost your parents too. Yeah, but I know we'll see each other again someday. They're definitely waiting for me on the other side. Besides, I still have my clansmen and Entendra, so I'm never alone. That's right. The desert provides. Yes! Now sit back and enjoy my song! Oh, a dinner and a show. Now this is a real feast. Come on, everyone, a round of applause!
Hmm, another victory. What was that attack about? This melody makes me sick. Melody? Soren, tell Coco to stop playing her flute. Understood. Did she pass out? What in the world is going on? Hmm? Coco. the king. them with an instrument all I have to do is play this flute and I can hear their voices again I knew you were a bad person first you took on Tondra away from me and now you're trying to take my flute why are you being so stubborn I'm trying to help you calm down Satrana now that the hypo fiend is gone I sense that it's become an ordinary flute again did your parents leave you this flute, Coco? No, I found it myself. Where? Far away from here, deep in the Crimson Highlands. I found it while I was playing out there one day. The Dusk Lord left it for me. It was left near where the Dusk Lord sleeps. He must have known that I missed my parents and gave me this flute. You were out there by yourself? That's pretty brave. Coco must be talking about the Dusk Lord's final resting place. The sacred grounds where the Dusk Lord fell. It's strange that Coco would find an evil flute in a place like that. Huh? Are you okay, Satrana? Crimson. Darkness. Satrana's making a prophecy! In a crimson land, most high. To the shadowy depths. Darkness. Surrounds the tomb. A figure stands in the shadow. Hypogean! Did I have one of my visions? Yes! It sounds like you were telling us that a Hypogean is hiding in a tomb somewhere in the Crimson Highlands. 
Yes, it was much clearer than last time. A hypogean? Did I really say that? Could it be... Burial? We'd be in trouble if another hypogean appeared. No, it must be Burial. Burial? It looks like we know exactly who we're fighting. Be it a monster or a hypogean, no one is a match for us. Come on, our next stop is the Dusk Lord's resting place. Experience is the best teacher. Now, tell me about this so-called treasure that everyone's talking about. Bah! You think I'd tell you just because you asked? Keep dreaming. If the next words out of your mouth aren't something I want to hear, then consider them your last. No, 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 no. please. Uh, I'll talk. Just don't hurt me. My patience is running out, so make it quick. The truth is, there is no treasure. Then what exactly is the Adamant Syndicate doing here? We want to open the Dusk Lord's tomb. We're trying to fool people into opening the tomb for us. The tomb? What are you planning to do with it? Uh, I don't know. Please, just let me go. Whoa. Soren's as ruthless as ever. He passed out from the pain. Should we be worried? Leave him. He'll manage on his own. the king.
Did you all hear that voice just now? It must have been the Dusk Lord. He was calling out for Sauron. The Dusk Lord says someone is disturbing his sleep. He must be talking about the treasure hunters that were fooled by the Syndicate. Weren't you listening, Chippy? The Dusk Lord said that witch disturbs my sleep. He wasn't talking about a person. Whatever it is, it must be something that a divine doesn't consider to be human. Most likely, but... Why would a Hypogean want to disturb the Dusk Lord's slumber? All we can do is keep moving forward. The Crimson Highlands will be full of danger, so stay on your guard. Are you real? Or just another hallucination? <coughs> it doesn't matter. Please, don't go. I need someone by my side. <coughs> ah! what, what are you doing? Why did you cut yourself all of a sudden? The pain keeps my mind clear. <coughs> Please, just listen to me. We never should have come here looking for treasure. They all went insane. And what's worse, I don't think there was ever any treasure here. Only despair. Don't worry, he's still breathing. Should we take him somewhere safe? A good deed like that would mean doubling back for miles, and we don't have that kind of time. He doesn't have any discernible wounds on his body. My guess is he simply passed out from exhaustion. Then maybe we should leave him with some medicine and supplies. What do you think, Magister? We may not know this man, but this is the least we can do. We've already wasted too much time. Let's keep moving. Experience is the best teacher. Divines above, I confess that I have stolen my neighbor's terror bird eggs and also made his roof leak. I was wrong, but please, I beg of you, don't deprive me of the right to stay at the Dusk Lord's side. He's rambling. His injuries are serious, and his brain seems to have suffered damage, too. 
He is at his limit and needs to take this. It's food. Wait. A ball of muddy grass like that is only going to make him worse. Entendre taught me how to make this. Not only will it fill his stomach, but it'll also purge his body of any toxins. She's right, Citrana. I learned this recipe from a kind old man who I met during my travels. It's made from a special red clay mixed with certain herbs. It's meant to be used for emergencies. Is this really okay? See, Entendre? She doesn't trust you at all. That's not what I meant. Entendre is too trusting of other people. Who's to say that this old man was telling the truth? I've taken this before, Citrana. It's perfectly safe, I promise. Fine. If you say so. I'll give it to him. Am I doing this right, Entendre? Well done, Coco. It looks like you're capable of taking good care of others now. <laughs> Entendre praised me again. Ugh. Are you feeling better now? I never expected to wake up and see such a beautiful face looking down at me. Tell me, did the Divine send you to rescue me, my fair lady? Let go! Don't you dare touch her! Ah! I I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself just now. It's fine. If you're feeling better, then hurry up and leave. We don't have time to keep you company right now. Wait! You plan to keep going further? Don't you know how dangerous it is in there? We have to keep going. Even if you manage to resist the hallucinations, you won't make it past the webbed wall or the bloodthirsty spiders that made them. They'll eat you alive. Spiders? Understood. Thank you for the warning. You really are going, aren't you? Please, just be careful around those spiders. Experience is the best teacher.
to my name. <laughs> Bow before the king. Looks like stuff from the Adamant Syndicate. Even though the Claws rounded up a bunch of folks to do their bidding, some of them couldn't escape the spider's venomous fangs. Looks like the Adamant Syndicate also managed to trick the Quicksand Claws to get in. Frank thought he was digging for treasure when, in reality, he was just digging a tunnel to avoid the spider nest. For once, I'm starting to feel bad about his death. Huh? Why is that? Because I didn't get a chance to see the look on his face when he dug up a bunch of the spider sacks. Oh. When you put it that way, I kind of wish I could have seen it too. Experience is the best teacher. the king.
bow before the king.
victory to my name. <laughs> Experience is the best teacher.
bow before the king. tablet was left by Dora. Magister, Dora knew you would come. Now is not the time for joy. Things are much different than we thought. There is a Hypogean sealed in the Dusk Lord's tomb. Even worse, just as Dora feared, Elusha's actions in the Remnant Peaks have weakened the seal. It seems this is the root cause of the anomalies in the Crimson Highlands. The Hypogean's power is extending outward. Does the inscription say that if we want to seal that horrid thing in again, that is, the Hypogean, we need to defeat it? Oh, I can't stand uttering such a filthy word. My understanding is the same as yours. However, although the Hypogean seal has been compromised, it is still in a contained state. We cannot defeat the Hypogean while it remains confined. Does that mean we need to... Wait, unseal that thing? Can we really do this? The Magister knows the magical process of sealing a Hypogean. To release it, the method is simply reversed. For a great mage like the Magister, this should be a small task. That's not what I mean. We are discussing the release of a malevolent Hypogean. Shouldn't we be cautious? At least let me perform a divination on the probability of our success. I agree with Citrana. We need to be careful with how we proceed. Even if we truly can lift the seal, there's no guarantee we'll defeat the Hypogean. The results of a failure would be catastrophic. However, since the seal has already been compromised, it's only a matter of time before it shatters. The Crimson Highlands and all the surrounding areas will... What will happen? Finish your words! Coco, if we don't fight the Hypogean, your homeland will be destroyed long before the seal is fully broken. Then I'll fight! I'm not afraid of pain, only of losing my home! Magister Merlin, what should we do? You already know my thoughts. I've come this far, and I won't back down. Magister, as Dora said in the inscription, it's time for you and your companions to take a stand. And Chippy is always ready to charge ahead for you. Don't have the spotlight, Chippy. Merlin also has me by her side. And not just me, but all of us who have come this far. Merlin, have you made up your mind? Of course. Let's not delay. Time to unseal the Hypogean!
long have I waited? Memory is a precarious thing. Even I am not immune to its loss. My name is Freyesto. I have been alone here for ages, much akin to a prisoner. But what was my offense, and where was my trial? Who is qualified to condemn one such as me? Do you make such a claim? You, the great mage known as Merlin. Oh? Then tell me, what am I guilty of? What warrants being locked away by that detestable goddess? You cannot name a single transgression. And from this standpoint, I do not see myself guilty of any offense. Does a sinless Hypogean deserve to suffer confinement just for their very nature? Filthy Hypogean, your twisted tongue has no effect. Your crimes have been well documented. Do you refer to the type of historical gossip that anyone might fashion as they please? You say I am guilty. Then of what charge? Did anyone witness my crimes with their own eyes? Impish little familiar. The world always views powerful forces beyond this control as evil. Yet you know nothing of true power. I wish the goddess hadn't forgotten to seal your mouth as well. You're the one who knows nothing. Oh, but courageous child. I know you. Ironically, when Dura sealed me away, she borrowed the remaining power of the Dusk Lord. Therefore, like you, I sometimes hear the whispers of his voice. The Dusk Lord has always believed that you would find and defeat me. Unfortunately for you, this is a fallacy. behind that child for the rest of your short lives? Of course not! We'll defeat you! Why such hostility? I, Freyesto, am the Hypogean that can remedy this world's sadness. In my illusions, departed loved ones return home to their kin with open arms. Scorned lovers reunite and never betray one another again. No one needs endure the travesties of illness, poverty, or war. All may live in peace and prosperity while flourishing in everlasting youth. If you would like to assign a duration to the length of these generous illusions, I offer my lifespan as the criterion. And as a Hypogean, I am immortal. The one known as Merlin. Do you not wish for eternal bliss? Are illusions that last all eternity not just another form of reality? Magister, I've heard enough of this nonsense. I'm prepared. Let's go!
belong, Hypogean! Magister, now! You mortals have no idea who you're messing with! The so-called gods you worship are not what- Antandra, I've learned much in your absence. Satrana! <laughs> hey, hey, easy kid. You're all over me. If not for your help in the battle, I don't think I ever would have seen Antandra again. I thought you just wanted to steal her away. And so, I've been so cruel to you. And you still saved me. You're the best! From now on, you and Entendre are both my favorite people! Hey, there can only be room for one favorite, so don't get greedy. And who is Citrana's favorite person? <laughs> well, think it over slowly. With that thick skull of yours, it might be a while before you figure it out. <sighs> it's finally over. Will the Crimson Highlands return to normal now? Based on our previous experiences, hmm, it will take some time. At the very least, they won't deteriorate any further. Things can only improve from here. Magister! We thwarted a Hypogean once again! Let's go back to Alkali to celebrate! We both know you only want to celebrate, so you can go stuff your cheeks with food. Chippy, as a familiar, you only need magic for nourishment. But you're still so greedy. Magister! Himmy is bullying Chippy! Chippy? You even learned how to tattle! Help, Magister! Himmy must be stopped! This sort of bickering sounds familiar. Reminds me of Alsa always buzzing in my ear. I didn't say that, but I don't wish to remain here any longer. Let's head back to Alkali. I'm sure everyone there could use good news. Freyester, you shaped up to be quite a disappointment, didn't you? With all that power of yours, failure did not seem an option. Having said that, what sort of power must they have been granted by the gods? To be able to deliver a fatal blow to a Hypogean is concerning. This warrants a proper investigation. I hate it. Scheming is not my forte, and their excellency is always giving me the most difficult tasks. Oh, never mind. I'll simply have to try harder so as not to anger them. Why have only a few of you returned? Did you find the treasure? Papa? He's not here. Excuse me, have you seen my Papa? His name is Ames. He loves telling stories and keeping a journal. He said he would write down all the amazing things that happened during the treasure hunt and tell me when he got back. 
Has anyone seen him? Anyone? Please! He's my papa! Ames... Isn't this person already...? We haven't met your father. But we found some journals along the way that may belong to him. Take a look. This is Papa's handwriting! Is he... okay? I knew it! Every time I have a bad feeling, I'm never wrong. When Papa was leaving, I begged him not to go. Why didn't he listen to me? Why? I have to tell everyone the truth. Otherwise, those souls will not rest in the Crimson Highlands, with none aware of the evil deeds of the Hypogean and the Adamant Syndicate. As Fraesto said, others must know of his crimes. They must empower the world to judge him. I will assist Trana and try to find the rightful owners of the recovered relics. Upon seeing the relics, the family should know we speak the truth. I'm going to help too! It can't just be Citrana and Entendre doing all the work. I'll stay a while too. Thank you for the kind gesture, but you'd better return to your clan. Soren, look at the worried faces of those around you. At this moment, your loved ones probably look the exact same way. Go home and put their worries to rest. And Magister, it's been a pleasure to have you with us. Without you, I might never have found Antandra. Please accept my deepest thanks. It's time to say goodbye again. Do not be sad about our parting. Your destinies, though ripe with challenges, shine brighter than the stars. Someday, somewhere, we will meet again. no wounds seem severe with a bit of rest all will be bouncing around in no time aren't you going to ask me about what we encountered what's there to ask when soren's by your side any dangerous quest seems like a breeze and with the magister accompanying you i wasn't worried at all <clears throat> actually i shouldn't say i didn't worry at all that might not be exactly true but only a little bit because i believe in you Anyway, you're finally back. I'm so happy. Yes, I'm home. Magister, if you're not in a great hurry to leave, you must stay with us for a while. Of course, Chippy and Hammy are also welcome. I've prepared some of your favorite treats. Ready for a feast? Always ready. Chippy will help you vanquish those treats. Chippy, say thank you to Elsa. Thank you, Elsa. Uh, and also, everyone in the Ulru clan for hosting us. You're welcome. In my eyes, you are all family. Everyone, 